The topic of forgiveness can be diverse and at times controversial. Recently, while watching the news, I saw the story of a prison worker seduced by two inmates. She made the horrific mistake of assisting their escape from prison. Shortly before their planned rendezvous, she had a panic attack and checked into a hospital. Current reports indicate that the inmates had convinced her they should murder her husband in order to protect their escape. Immediately, the news commentator asked millions of viewers to go to social media and answer this question. If you were the husband, would you forgive the wife? 87% of people responding said, do not forgive, with a mere 13% favoring forgiveness. In society today, there are a lot of injustices that happen, but our need for justice is not the same as our responsibility to forgive. The news commentator, although sincere, was playing on our innate sense for justice. Ernst Fair, a Swiss evolutionary biologist, found that the brain lights up when obtaining justice, just as it would when experiencing reward or pleasure. His conclusion? Justice is hardwired into people. Forgiveness and justice are not the same thing, and confusing the two could have great consequences. What is justice? According to the dictionary, it is the legal process and the imposition of proportionate punishment. It is the impartial and fair settlement of conflict. The injustices or wrongs of life provoke a need for justice that, if not dealt with properly, can override the need for forgiveness and arouse a sense of vengeance and retaliation. Mahatma Gandhi said, there is a higher court than courts of justice, and that is the court of conscience. It supersedes all other courts. Although justice or even revenge for the betrayed husband in our story seems the most important factor, in actuality, forgiveness may be the key to unlocking his future. Why? Unforgiveness freezes a person in time, limiting their ability to move forward, trapping them in both physical and mental torment. Pope John Paul II said, social justice cannot be attained by violence. Violence kills what it intends to create. So how do we define forgiveness? Forgiveness does not condone a wrong or deny its existence. It's not turning a wrong over to God expecting divine justice. It's not reconciliation or forbearing with the offender. Forgiveness can be conditional or unconditional. Forgiveness can be divine or human. Forgiveness can be both a decision and a feeling. Forgiveness is the lubricant that releases the soul and mind from the deep consequences of anger, bitterness, and vengeful thinking. And as an engine requires lubricant to keep it cool and all the parts moving, so humans need forgiveness to avoid the heat and friction of life. Are you consumed with the heat of vengeance or the pain of a recent injustice? Do you need relief from this pain? Forgiveness allows us to stop looking at how we've been hurt. It can help you understand the personal hurts that compelled those assailing you and relieve your need to return an evil for an evil. Today, I want you to know that although Jesus Christ committed no sin against you or me, He became the justice of God for all humanity when He took our sin upon Himself. He was an example of a willing sacrifice that required no action on our part, just a decision to receive the forgiveness offered. Open your heart now and accept this divine forgiveness and you will find that recognizing you are forgiven truly empowers you to forgive others. Pray with me right now. Say, thank you, Jesus. I recognize you are my doorway to divine forgiveness, and I receive you right now into my heart.